question of the day I want to ask people is, do you really want to be that guy that wants to push somebody off a sidewalk in the pouring rain? Do you really want to be that person who doesn't care about someone getting heat stroke on a hot day? Do you really want to be that individual that doesn't understand that some people do have allergies to water or the way that the hydrogen in water can impact the rain and the heat of the day? You see, there's a lot of people who profess to be nutritionists and there's a lot of people who profess to be foodies, but that doesn't mean that you're an expert in someone else's needs. What I always am amazed at are the number of people that want to go out and buy something for someone who is homeless or impoverished. Now when it's delivered to you by a loving person in light and kindness, it's hard to reject them. But the truth is a lot of people do that and they abuse us. They actually deliver us food that's a couple days old or they do it in a way to have power that isn't really theirs to have. You see, the idea, it's the thought that counts is something that my late parents always taught us. But that is truthful. But it's also the value of the food that's given that is really what helps a person to stay in good nutrition and in good health and mind and soul. So if you're trying to be generous and you want to buy someone some food, the best thing to do is to drive up and say, Hey, are you hungry? Have you eaten? Could I buy you some food? And then you have the chance to say, Yes, please, or no, please, or maybe just get me a gift card so I can get the food and choose what I need, and then you don't have to feel like a secretary.